sleeps. Get your popcorn ready. Yeah, it's Rick Jimmy live. Smart Z on the mic, yeah. We're gonna do it like this, y'all. Yeah. Get up. You got money, bank rolls. Join the gang to rock our bows. We run the game, yeah. yeah. Trade smart. Uh, now we start. It's a great start. Invest your money right in that good oil, in that cannabis. That's that dollar trouble. And AI is on that watch list. In that bear market, I am an opportunist. One time for your mind tonight. I said the stock goes up, I get your money right. I'm so cool with it. I know the gold really. You got some good money, put some gold in it. Yeah. Reach TV, hold me, but you know the place. Uh, Don't change the channel, you gon' lose your face. Well, I got that good, good on that premium stock. I'm on YouTube making your money go. Stocks go on your beer. I'm here to say, I'll let your money slip up. Reach TV, like stocks. I got the beats to make your money go. Stocks go on your beer. I'm here to say, I'll let your money slip up. Reach your Reach your TV. Like stocks, I got the mix to make your money work. Stack it up there, make your money work. And when you're slipping, your money giving birth. In the bull market, yeah. I'm a smart dog. I bring it up to you. Check your life stocks. I'm that good guy. I set the record straight. My trading academy is here to elevate. My cannabis stock is how the money smells. Yeah. This is rich TV life. Following my trail, I pick the right trade gold. All your weed, yes. I turn a two into a twenty like a big press. Check that flow, though. No, that's the 2020. They yelling, hell, Mary. I'm making hell of money. Stocks, gold, oil, beer. I'm here to say, don't let your money scream. I'm rich. You need light stocks. I got the things to make your money go. Stocks, gold, oil, beer. I'm Say no, let your money go, let your money reach your TV, light your stocks, I'm not going to get your money here, when the bell's hit, the bones fall back, that's right, hit me one time, if you're not winning, you're not watching, this is your boy Rich, and I'm old, big, 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're all having a great Memorial Day. If you're in America and if you're somewhere else in the world and it's a holiday, happy holidays. And if you're in Canada, you have been witnessing a great day. So congratulations to everybody in Canada. All our picks are up. It's true. And I gave you guys two secret stock picks this weekend. Air, and air's up, of course, obviously, and uh, Greenbrier, and it's up too, obviously. <laughs> oh, it's getting a little bit too easy, guys. It's getting a little bit too easy. It's a little bit easy. It's a little bit easy. So full disclosure, guys, I'm going to tell you guys what I did today. I did some buying and some selling today. I'm going to tell you guys what I did. And we're going to look at the markets. They're about to close. And I'm going to just kind of give you guys an update on what moves I made today. Some might be good. Might, some might be bad. They might come back to haunt me. Um, woo! Ianta's having a big day today at 42%. What's going on there? Um, stay focused, Rich. Stay focused, Rich. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on in the market. So first, we're just going to talk about what I sold. So last week I told you guys that I bought Valens and Labs. Today I sold both. I sold my Labs and I sold my Valens. Took the profit and ran. Had a nice little run up. Um, you know, made you know good returns on both positions. Sold both today. Okay. Um, took the money and ran, guys. Just no emotion. I don't need to hold anything. I want to hold cash. So uh, they were up. They kind of came back down a little bit. So I said, you know what? Let me just take the profit and run. Um, and that's what I did. I took the profit and ran. I, I do believe they're going to go higher. But nonetheless, uh, I was up nicely. It's a couple day hold. I like the returns. Took the money and ran. Okay? So that's what I did there. Now, I also positioned myself in two brand new positions today. Um, first one, GRB, Greenbrier. I told you guys was one of my secret picks yesterday. 
And I told you guys that I think that they have some huge upside. Shout out to Peter for the pick. He's been telling me about these guys since they were 50 cents. They're now at a dollar seventy. They're up 16%. I told you guys they were my secret pick. They're up another 16% today. Okay. Full disclosure, I did buy 3,000 shares today. Um, I'm already up on that position. So full disclosure, I did buy 3,000 shares of GRB. And I also bought 20,000 shares of Power. Captiva Verde Power currently at 25 cents. I picked up 20,000 shares out of the 79,000 shares that's traded today. I bought 20,000 of them. Proud of it. Power Captiva Verde at 25 cents. Now, the cool thing about this is that if you own shares in Greenbrier, you will get, so I have 3,000 shares of Greenbrier. So if power goes to a dollar, or let's just say when power goes to a dollar, remember it's at 25 cents. When power goes to a dollar, the 3,000 shares I have of Greenbrier will give me 1,500 free shares of power. So because I hold 3,000 shares of Greenbrier, if and when power goes to a dollar, I will get an additional 1,500 shares of power at a dollar, which will be an additional $1,500, an incentive to hold GRB and PWR. Thus, I hold both, and I am now in the solar business. Shout out to Peter for the picks, bro. Mad respect to Peter, man. He's been right so far, so uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying here. What's up, party people? Hope everybody had a great weekend. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday. Happy holidays to everyone. It's your holiday. And guys, we got 42 people here and 15 likes. You know we got to up our likes game. You know we got to up our likes game. We can do it. I know we can as a community. We can hit the like button. It's the only thing I ask of you guys is to smash the like button. You can, you know, you can, you can be aggressive with it. You can smash it. You can poke it. You can just hover over it. You can rub it. Whatever you choose to do. But make sure you do something, okay? Make sure you get involved in the session. And the best way to get involved is to communicate Put in your comments, comment down below in the videos once the videos go live, and to smash the like button. And thank you for the 18 of you that smashed the like button. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You guys are the reason why I do this every single day. I didn't need to go live right now. I really didn't even want to, but I'm going live because of you, because of the good people. Because the people tell me, Rich, when are you coming live? I was like, oh, you want me live? Why? I already gave you all the picks. Everything's up. We laughing. We good. Um, but yeah, you know, people ask and here you are. Aloha. What's up, Infinite? What's up, Beth? Infinite made profit on well. Good job. Arvid says, hi, Rich. Air explodes. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, I didn't get into air. I'm kind of waiting for a dip. Uh, hopefully it does dip so I can get in. Yes, the TSX is open. Troy says, I will say it once more, my friend. I like for over a year by Revo, they got their license. Revo, eh? Revo, Revo, Revo. Let's pull up some Revo here since you're so passionate about it. Let's see. Revo got their license. It's up 10%, traded 1.6% million shares you look at the one year chart it's been as low as nine cents and as high as 66 was that as low as nine cents in march wow it's already made a nice move up here looks very interesting thank you for the pick wow rivers is screaming guys Canopy Rivers is absolutely screaming. Now at $1.50, up 20%. Hexo up 23% is also screaming. That's very good for our portfolios if we're holding those. Delta 9. Wow, guys. Guys, guys, guys. What I tell you guys about Delta 9? What I tell you guys about Delta 9? 
told you guys. They were on my show. I told you guys it was a buy. I told you guys it was undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. I even trapped it. I even trapped it when it was on my show. And since I've trapped it, it is now up 16% on the day. Delta 9 cannabis on fire. Just like I said it would be. They were on my show last week. Since they were on the show, they've been climbing nonstop and up another 16.98% today. Delta 9 Cannabis on a tear. Canopy Rivers on a tear. Cannabis stocks are back. There's no doubt about it. Jason says, wow, Canadian market is open. Ours isn't in the States. Yeah, it's a holiday in America, but not in Canada today. Yes, Hexo's up. BBVA partnership forthcoming. Rob Amar says, hi, Roy. Yes, long Revo. After the run up, it seems to settle at 40 and now heading up. I see more news yeah, and movement yeah. in the future. Yo, what's up, Dynamic Beast? How you doing, man? Jason says, Canada also has a competent government compared to ours. I don't know. You think? Get into, you want me to make a decision on Revo? I mean, I'm not going to make a decision just like that, but I'll look at it. I'll keep it on my watch list. There's 100 companies out there to buy. So I'm not just going to buy one because somebody's talking about it. There's lots of companies doing well. Jason says, my bet is you bought lots of Greenbrier. I did buy Greenbrier today. 3,000 shares and 20,000 shares of power. Um, I sold my cannabis stocks today. Uh, Justin says, what are your thoughts on Nordic American tankers, NAT? They've been doing well. I think, you know, for a momentum trade, they were doing well for a while there. What did I buy Valens at? I bought it last week, cheaper than what I sold it at this week. And made myself a nice little return. 230-ish range? Sold at 270? I'll do that all day. All day. Jason says, NAT has been frustrating. I think it will pick up, though. They raise their dividend, I believe. Yeah, I mean, it might be a decent pick, but it's not really the type of trade I like. Infinite Possibility says, I don't, don't force trades, guys. This is a marathon, not a sprint. It's good advice, Infinite. Definitely never a good idea to force any trades. Wow, you called Revo at 14 cents and now it's at 44? That's an amazing call, bro. How high do you think Revo is going to go? Isn't GGB filing for bankruptcy? Like, why is everyone so excited about their earnings? Aren't they going bankrupt? Justin says, not making 680K a day profit right now, just using 17 of the ships as storage. Wow, that's pretty good. Almost a million a day, or three quarters of a million a day. Troy says, Rich, Revo, you know how long I've told you about this. Bro, uh, so many people, so many picks, man. But I'm happy, man. I'm happy that you called it, and I'm happy it's doing well, bro. And thank you for sharing with the community, man. Smoking559 says, Rich, you are a cool dude. You're such a cool dude. I always hit the like button like it's nothing. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. What's the OTC symbols for Greenbrier and power again? Greenbrier is G-E-B-R-F. And power is, what is power? I'd have to look into that more. Heck. 
Captiva Verde. So the symbol in America right now is ARDWF, I believe. Or CIPIV or something. C-A-P-I-V. Yeah, C-P-I-V-F. That's the one. C-P-I-V-F in America. C-P-I-V-F in America. There's the OTC markets link. You made profits on labs? Good work. Good work. Hey, that's the name of the game when we trade, right? You got to make profits. Cannabis is definitely doing well right now. Jason Barube says Delta 9 rocks. Didn't jump on it though. Their CEO sounds like a good dude. Hey, man. Had him on my show and it's been going up since from 48 cents to 62 cents since it's been on my show. And previously I had him on my show at 40 cents, had him on my show at 40 cents. It's now at 62 cents. So it's up over 50% since he's been on my show. That's all I got to say, man. Numbers don't lie, but people do, right? Do I own Halo Labs? I have shares in Halo Labs. Yes. What do I think about Afria? I think Afria is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. James says NAT is making stupid money. They are going to have the best year ever. Wait till earnings. Yeah, it's definitely one to watch. I didn't realize they were making that much money. Hey, what's up, Kyo Christian Trader? Kyo Christian Trader, how you doing, buddy? Nick Ferris says, Bex, it started moving. Yeah, obviously I got into Bex and I saw a return last week and I took it. I'm going to be looking for an entry point again, but I'm just going in and out of trades, guys, and I'm trying to stay liquid so I have the ability to do and take advantage of the trades that are moving. And that's really what I want to do is I want to do more momentum trading, take advantage of momentum. You can't get them all, but as long as we're getting some, then we're good. So. I positioned myself in a couple of these solar to power deals today, sold a couple of the cannabis stocks that I got in last week. I'm happy with my moves and we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. I don't mind buying a stock and holding it if I think it's going to go higher. I think power is one I don't mind holding even for a year, especially if it's going to go to a dollar. I got 20,000 shares. You know, I put in five grand. If it goes to a buck, um, five grand turns to 20 grand. I'll do those deals all day long. Mind you, if it goes to 50 cents tomorrow, I'll probably sell it and take my quick five grand. So things can change. It just depends on the results, right? It all depends on the results. KLY might be developing a COVID vaccine. Cannabis and COVID-19, CBDs and COVID-19. I love it. Benjamin says, you gave a $1 price target on Halo, but what do you think of that now that they are at 10 cents? I still think that they're going to have a $1 price target. I think that this entire cannabis sector is very heavily oversold. And I think that when you see these companies rise again, you will see companies that are at 10 cents back at a dollar. You'll see companies that are at a dollar back at $10. Right now, the market is just starting to kind of come back. It's all going to be about revenue now. Justin says, Rich, do you have a schedule when you go live or you just fire it up whenever? No, I just go live whenever. No, I don't trade options in our academy yet. Uh, that's the one thing I'm not trading yet, but I am working on launching an options trading academy. So right now I am focused with our academy on stocks and Forex. 
Bitcoin, gold, indexes, oil, but mainly our major focus is Forex right now because we're just learning that and just becoming a better trader by learning how to utilize momentum and the indicators and the tools that I have to help me be a better trader so I can offer better trade ideas to our community. And I believe if you see our track record um, that we've been doing a phenomenal job of bringing winners, especially lately, and we're going to continue to. I really want to continue to. Forex is pretty wild because what I'm learning about Forex is that there are trillions of dollars that are going through the currency markets every day and there's only billions going through the stock market. So I always thought the stock market was the biggest, baddest investment platform in the world, but I was wrong. It's actually Forex. And now that I know that, I'm very intrigued and I love the fact that there's so much money that rolls through the Forex market, Canadian dollar versus US dollar. Great Britain pound versus the US dollar. How do those currencies move up or down every single day in the market? This is something that has really transcended the way I think of investing, the way I personally invest, the way I think about the market, the way I approach the market. It's all connected. We watch gold at night. So I already know how the gold market's going to do every single morning. We watch oil at night. So we know how the oil market's going to do in the morning. We watch the US 30, which is the Dow Jones. So I know how the, the, the markets, the stock market's going to perform every day before the market performs. So I believe it's given me an advantage over the average trader. I also believe it's given me more knowledge as an investor and knowledge is power. And the more knowledge and more power we have as a community, the better we're going to do and the more money we're going to make. Benjamin says, when do you honestly think that they will be back at a dollar? Just like a prediction. I have no idea. But I believe that they have what it takes to go to a dollar. And I have no idea yeah. if or when they'll be able to do that. I have no idea. But I do believe that they have what it takes to go to a dollar. I think they have what it takes to go higher than that. But I think that, uh, you know, that's a good goal for them right now, considering where they are. So that would be a phenomenal goal. Um, and there's a lot of companies like them, like Zenibus, that need to get back to a dollar. You know, Cineva needs to get back to a dollar. Hexo just recently got back to a dollar. A lot of companies that have fallen that need to go back to a dollar. There's lots. And there's companies that have fallen under a dollar to under $10 and need to go back to $10. Right, we've seen True Leave were over twenty dollars for a long time, and now they're approaching back to twenty dollars, back to eighteen. So, we've seen the markets go up and down, and they'll go up again, believe me. And they'll come down again at some point, but right now they're on their way up. But I have no idea when something is going. I don't have a date for when something is going to go. It'll happen when the market feels that they can justify being at a dollar share price. The market determines. And the market makers determine where stock is going to trade based on their earnings, based on their management, based on their share structure. It's a combination of all of it. You thinking of bringing Kieran on anytime soon? Yeah, I'd love to have Kieran back on the show. Uh, we have a very busy schedule here over the next few weeks. I'm sure he'll be fitting in that schedule. So stay tuned. Justin says, I heard it only costs 10K a day for the ship to be used as storage, and they are charging 50,000 to 70,000. Yeah, I don't know what they're, they're charging. I don't know anything about that. I'm just reading what you guys are saying. You want to learn Forex? Just email me, richtvlive at gmail.com, and I can introduce you to the world of Forex. We have a lot of members that have done extremely well already. Literally, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times their money. We have members doing everything in between. Honorio says, I just started trading this year. I absolutely suck at it. I have no strategy except buy low, sell high. Well, you're going to have to create a strategy. And if you need help, you can join our academy and we can help you. Just email me. Uh, Troy says, Rich, I will check back with you Friday, but please take a look at this unicorn Revo. No pump. Just everyone look into them. Make a choice in out. Hey, thank you, Troy. What's up, MC? 
Benjamin says, is Forex only short term like day trading or do you actually hold investments in Forex? You can do whatever you want. My strategy is more in and out, but there are people that do long term trades. What's good with Village Farms? They've been doing well. They've been coming up. But my, my attitude with these stocks is, guys, if you're up, take your money and run. You can always get in them again and just ride momentum because the momentum can go up and down. So right now there's momentum. Take advantage of it, but it's not going to last forever. So if you're up on a trade, don't be afraid to take profits. Where are you trading these? I trade with my trading academy. If you join our academy, we can give you details on how to set up an account with a broker and how to trade Forex. Wave Select says, Air is a special one. I think it will go up 100%. Uh, yeah, it's already been climbing up so far, day after day. So just another secret pick that I brought you guys, and uh, we want to continue to do that. FLO says Zena going to make people rich, including me. Just wait. Hey, man, I hope from your lips to God's ears, my friend, because I'm a shareholder. I have over 50,000 shares, and I'd like to see them go to at least a dollar. And I'm going to have to wait personally until they go to at least a dollar, and then I'll be profitable, and I'll love them. I have nothing bad to say about them. There still be some shareholders in at 225, but, you know, hopefully they've lowered their costs. Dynamic Beast, what's up, brother? Says, earn while you learn. Yeah, man. Earn while you learn, bro. James says, yeah, Justin, it's some crazy numbers. They are almost out of tankers. It's crazy. They're growing fast. Robert says, glad I hold on CGC at 1790, which was in the high $9 range. Now I'm on the green and still holding until tomorrow to take profit. Hey man, never be afraid to take profit. Thank you, Troy. Amin says, Hey Rich, what are your thoughts on Sano Nanotech, especially with SEC Azar stressed on the benefits of the using lateral flow test? Sorry if you guys talked about it. Um, well, I brought you guys that pick, and obviously they exploded. They've done very well. I took profits. Um, I think they could do well, but like I said, you know, I'm not going to be chasing something that's already made a big move up. I like to get in, get out, and um, you know, wait for a retraction, wait for a consolidation, wait for them to come back down and be undervalued, and then buy them again. But once something's already moved, it's not my Favorite thing to jump in, unless I feel like there's still a lot of upside, I just don't know how much upside they have right now. How did they justify their $2 share price? So we'll see. We'll see. What do I think of Suniva? I think Suniva has been a scam. Uh, Suniva has been terrible. Um, they've disappointed me a lot. I'm down a lot on Suniva, and I'm unhappy about them. That's what I think about Suniva. Infinite Possibility says, it looks like money has shifted again into the cannabis sector. Yeah, and that's a very positive thing, and hopefully this will continue, but I'm going to continue to shift my money in and out because I do not want to get stuck in case it does come down. I do not want to be stuck. Alberto Ramos says, it's true, air, backs, rich pops, hundreds of hot runners a year. Don't expect a slowdown, folks. No, bro, we're going to continue to bring winners, and um, I love it when I can just really focus on finding you guys winners. Honestly, that drives me and fuels me like you guys have no idea. And then the next day to wake up and see them up, it's, uh, it's special. It's a special feeling. Do you know why Sundial Growers went 39%? Yeah, well, they had some news saying that they're testing their products to potentially be a remedy for people that have COVID-19. And since then, Sundial's been on a tear. What do I think on the earnings for CGC for this week? I don't expect them to be fantastic. Um, I don't expect them to show profits from that perspective. Um, they should be 
pretty strong because everyone's reporting pretty strong right now, but I don't expect them to be like world beating results and I don't expect them to show profits, but you know, I hope they do. It'll be good for the sector. Wave select says I own air and Bex two winners for sure. Yeah. Um, air has done extremely well already. Bex has done extremely well as well. I brought them both to you and I'm very happy that they're doing well for you guys and congratulations. And hopefully you guys are going to continue to win on these winners that we talk about. Yvonne Diesel says, Rich, do you think Hexo could do a reverse split like ACB? Well, I predicted they would when they were under a dollar, but now they're over a dollar. So this is very good. This is positive. I'm happy. My shares are not worthless. Um, where do they go from here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Robert says, hit the like. I agree with Robert. Thank you, guys. If you guys haven't hit the like button, it really helps for people to join our stream. If you hit the like button, it just looks like this. It's like a thumb. You just hit it. You just touch it. You poke it. You feel around it. You hover it. Blow on it. <sighs> you could try that. You could try to do it with your toes, too. Um, Whatever works for you. And I'm good with it. Benjamin says, hey, Rich, random question. What is your favorite food? Yeah, this is a random question. Um, I like octopus. I know it's weird, right? I like octopus. I like uh, lobster. I like shrimp. I like crab. I like seafood. I like steak, surf and turf. So filet mignon, tenderloin, and I'm good. And I'm good. Justin says, Rich, what do you think about this CBD cure for Corona? I think it could be possible. I mean, I don't know too many people that partake in cannabis that have the COVID. It's a possibility. I mean, Cannabis prevents so many other things and cannabis helps so many other things. So why not? So does CBD. Cannabis and CBD is already a medicine helping crazy amount of different things. So when you think about all the different things that cannabis is already helping, why wouldn't they be able to prevent or help COVID-19? I think it just makes sense. Same with CBD. Why not? Why not? Hey, Peter, what's up, bro? Peter says, popped in and hit the like. Later, Rich, good day today in both Forex and equities, just like a surf and turf. Yeah, bro. Isn't that amazing when you're just making money on Forex and stocks? And uh, Peter, guys, just hit platinum chairman, uh, platinum 150. So he's only, a few uh, he's only a few members away now. I think six members away. We just added a new one today. He's only six members away. I know he's adding another one tomorrow, I believe. Six, so there'll be five members away. Hopefully we can do it by the end of this week, Pete. Um, platinum 600, which will be uh, a next rank in the company, which will be 600 US a month residual income. And we just had Ross do platinum 600. We had Amanda do platinum 600 last week. And we had Peter hit platinum 150. So three promotions within our team last week. I'm excited to see what's going to happen this week. And I also, Rich TV Live, our team just got promoted to platinum 2000. So four promotions last week. We got promoted to uh, platinum 2000, Amanda platinum 600, Ross platinum 600, and Peter platinum 150. Four promotions for our team last week. Crazy, man. I'm excited to see what we're going to do this week. And we will be trading live tonight with Antoine, guys. We will be trading live tonight with Antoine. And I will personally go live with the team probably pretty soon. I'm going to start marking up the charts. Probably pretty soon. So I'll let you guys know. Uh, some of your messages. Wow, sometimes the messages pop up. Uh, Infinite Possibility says, when I was in Hawaii, I had fresh halibut. I love halibut, man. It's delicious. Benjamin says, do you like poutine? I've never gotten to try it. I love poutine. <laughs> love it. Uh, Steven says, Psyched Wellness should be listening on CSE this summer. Same kind of business as Shroom. Do you think it can be good? Yeah. 
And Shroom's been amazing. So yeah, why not? Justin says it should be huge for the sector. Wow. Could you imagine? Jimbo Coates says CBD helps with the overreaction on immune system. Love it. Peter says working with three new recruits today to bring in them in the next few days. Wow. Amazing, Peter. Amazing, my friend. Huge. Um, Paulina says, hi, Rich. Please give me the right spelling of the Greenbrier and the ticker also for power. Okay. So Greenbrier, symbol, GRB in Canada. And G E B R F in America. Symbol for power P W R in Canada, C P I V F in America. And shout out to Peter for both picks, bro. You are a scholar, my friend. Not only helping us in Forex with our team and setting an amazing standard for trading that I have really never even seen in my life uh, for our whole team. And now also doing an amazing thing by giving us picks that are also going up. And we're sharing with the community. We're sharing with the public. We're sharing with our team. And everybody's winning. So, man, it's amazing. This is what I envisioned for our academy. And it's happening. So it's pretty exciting. Bashir says, MRMD will likely reach a dollar anytime soon. That's very possible. I like Mary Med. They're a good pick last year. Infinite Possibility says, I don't understand why the government doesn't understand about the cannabis sector. It was legal 90 years ago. Shouldn't they understand it and have the data? Well, it wasn't the government that was, was running it. It's the private guys that have been running it. James Tony says, Rich, what is the best time to do Forex? Well, everybody's different. Peter trades in the morning and he trades from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern, which is 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Pacific. I like to trade at night. I trade from 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. pretty much is when I like to trade the most. Uh, here in Vancouver, I like to trade late. Um, that's kind of my time to trade. Um, but if I'm done my trades between 10 and 12, then I'm done in two hours. And that's the best. But some days the movement's going to happen at, you know, when the market opens in London within an hour or two, sometimes even later, and that will roll into New York session. So I like late night going into New York all the way until New York closes. So really, um, Pacific time, 10 p.m. to 1 p.m. 10 p.m. all the way until 1 p.m. is my sweet spot for trading. And Eastern time, 1 a.m. all the way till 4 p.m. is when I would say is the sweet spot for trading. And you can trade and have great results in those times, in my opinion. North 50 Parallel says, I've been watching you guys go. Might join you in a couple of weeks. Hey, man, I'd love to work with you, bro. Love to work with you. Love to trade with you, my friend. MC says the New York Stock Exchange is set to reopen its famed trading floor Tuesday, but it won't be going back to normal. That's interesting. Very interesting. I think the world's going to go back to normal, guys. I really hope it does. Peter says my goal is to make everyone on my team 1K a day on Forex after they do their training. I think that that's a great goal. And anyone that's here that would like to learn and join Peter's team, you can email me. I'll give you Peter's email directly, or you can just join Peter at peterdrilling at yahoo.ca. And Peter, you can even put your email address down here. So anybody that wants to join Peter can join Peter and really learn how to make $1,000 a day trading. And I think that's an amazing goal, Peter, for you to set for yourself and for your team. And that could really help change people's lives. MC says traders who return must wear masks, avoid taking public transportation, and follow tough social distancing rules. With newly, er newly erected plexiglass barriers to help them stay apart. I like MindMed. I've talked about them a lot, actually. 
Peter says, and yes, plan to go live soon. So that means Peter plans to do live trading soon, guys, which is pretty wild. Ivan Diesel says, Rich, I heard that Hexo received notice that the New York Stock Exchange, that they don't pass a dollar US, they will not trade on the New York Stock Exchange. Yes, they would be delisted. Dynamic B says, in two more weeks, I'm next. Hey, let's go, Jonathan. Let's go, brother. Let's make it happen, man. You know, you can create your own success story in this trading academy. That's what I love about it. We have examples like myself, Peter, Amanda, Ross, just within our own team that are all getting ahead. They're all creating their own story right now. And I want you to create your story. And the beautiful thing about the trading academy is we just have an environment where you can trade and make a ton of money trading and we have an environment where you can build the trading academy by introducing people to the trading academy and create a lot of wealth by building the trading academy and some people are doing both like peter's doing both amanda's doing both uh, ross is doing both i'm focusing more in the trading academy right now on teaching our members how to trade teaching our members how to build and i'm trading more stocks with what I'm learning in the trading academy. I'm taking what I'm learning and I'm trading with my real live account stocks and I'm doing extremely well, having phenomenal results. And I'm focusing more on training my guys on the Forex on a, on a demo account because I don't want to over trade. I don't want to over trade. I don't want to make mistakes. So I'm trading demo with Forex, but I'm trading live with my trading account and I'm building the academy and making money as a builder in the academy, building residual income for myself, which I use those payments I get every week and I use it and I get paid in Bitcoin. So I love it. I love the fact that I'm accumulating a Bitcoin and pretty soon I'll have a full Bitcoin and I'll let you guys know when I do. Um, Peter says, later brother, dinner time in my time zone. Hey man, enjoy dinner with your family, brother. Mark Curie says, looking for Hill Street and Baby to take off, Rich. Yeah, you know what? I like, uh, I definitely obviously love Baby. And I'll be watching Hill Street, bro. Thank you. Jacques says, take a look at Sona lately. I haven't. Um, they had a nice run. I sold them. I just haven't been as interested in coronavirus stocks. Just because like they made a nice run and it looks like it's going to be ending soon. So I don't know. I don't know what I think about them right now. James Tony says, Rich, can you explain the difference between the teams, yours, Peter, and Amanda? Which one do I sign up with? It's just up to you. I mean, we're all working together. So you can join Amanda. You can join Peter. You can email me. And if you'd like to trade with Amanda, you can trade with Amanda. If you'd like to trade with Peter, you could trade with Peter. The difference is, honestly, Amanda and Peter in the academy are better traders than I am right now. Straight up. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. But I would say I'm a better builder. I have way more people on my team. So it depends on what you are looking for. If you're looking for leadership in building the academy, I believe that I'm really setting the tone and leading from the front as far as building. Um, if you're looking for trading help and a great trader, Peter and Amanda are setting the tone as far as trading for our team. So it really kind of depends on what type of person you are and what type of leadership you need. However, if you want one on one, leadership from Peter, you want to join his team. If you want one-on-one -on -one trading from Amanda, you want to join her team. You want one-on-one -on -one trading from me, you want to trade, you want to join my team. Um, I'm winning a lot of my trades too, guys, live, like every day for my guys. So I'm very confident in my trading as well. I just can't be everything. I realize that I can't be everything to everybody. So I choose to focus on being a builder in this academy. Let my guys win in trading and really build my trading account, my portfolio in stocks to be really robust. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm very happy. I'm, I'm good with where I'm at right now. I'm in a very good place where I'm able to make money trading every day. I'm able to make money in residual income through the academy. We're making money with Rich TV Live, with companies that want to do videos and come on our show. I mean, like we have a lot of abundance right now. So I just try to stay focused and really try to help my people win and help my people learn and help my people grow. 
and help them do whatever they really want to do with the academy because everybody has their own goals. You might just want to make money trading. You might just want to trade Forex. You might want to trade gold. You might want to trade oil. You want to become a better trader in stocks. We can help you in all of those areas in the academy. I believe I've become a much better trader. The results speak for themselves. Like, look at the results of all the stocks I've been talking about. I mean, the results speak for themselves. Robert Singh says, hi, Rich. I was renovating all weekend back to Forex tonight. Hey, bro. That's the beauty of the, the academy. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. You want to renovate? Go renovate. You want to go on vacation? When we go back to normal, go on vacation. You want to spend time with your family? Spend time with your family. You want to trade? We can trade. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to do anything. And that's what I like is there is no schedule. We have a schedule, but you don't have to be in the schedule. But we've got a full schedule. <laughs> we've got a full schedule 24-7, seven, seven days a week. But you don't have to tap into the schedule. If you don't want to. Mark says, I smash it. Come on, guys. Hey, thank you guys for the 50 likes, man. I'm humbled. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Best community in the world right here. Why do I keep skipping over your Suniva question? Sorry, what's your Suniva question? Um, I just maybe mentally don't see it. Uh, Suniva is, I own shares in Suniva. They've been a massive disaster. There's really not much to talk about them. Um, they owe people money all over the God's given earth, and they've been a massive disaster. So really not too uh, much to say about Suniva. Is Ford Trade a good app for Forex? I have no idea. I don't use that app. Peter's email is peterdrilling at yahoo.ca. Or you can email me and I'll send it to Peter. RichTVLive at gmail.com. I'm happy to help Peter and Amanda, Robert, Jonathan, all the members that are here. I'm happy to help you guys build your businesses. That's why our team is growing so fast. Yes, I will be on Zoom, Robert. I will, probably in a couple hours. I'm going to be getting ready for tonight. Just going to wait for the, the market to have some momentum and some movement and some price action. And then once the market has some momentum, movement and price action, then we'll, we'll go live. So if you guys join us, you're going to get access to myself. I'll be trading live. You'll be getting access to all the go live educators, 150 professional educators. You'll get access to training material, which is going to teach you about the academy, how to trade. You're going to learn about the Fibonacci's. You're going to learn about uh, candlesticks. You're going to learn about trend lines. You're going to learn about the Elliott wave theory. You're going to learn about circles. You're going to learn about triangles. You're going to learn about momentum, momentum trading, market execution, lot sizes, pips, so many different things when it comes to trading. It's going to make you a better trader. Benjamin, you're asking some weird questions, bro. I don't understand your questions, man. So, kind of weird. Anyways, guys, I wanted to uh, give you guys some of those picks. Hope you guys like those picks. Hope you guys like some of the tips. I think I've pretty got nothing else really much to say. So, if I have any other picks or any other stocks that I think you need to know about, I will let you know. In the interim, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell for updates and notifications. So every time we get live or we go live or we have a new pick or anything new or breaking news, you get access to it first. And other than that, we'll go out on top with our new song here. Shout out to Sweet Z. <laughs> Never sleeps. Get your popcorn ready. Yeah, it's rich TV live. Smart D on the mic. Yeah, finding the gold. Like this, y'all.
Get up. We're finding the book. You got the money. Bank rolls. Join the gang of rock elbows. We run the gang. Yeah, trade smart. Now we start. How was it there? Invest your money right. I in that good oil. In that cannabis. That's the dollar trouble. And AI is on that watch list. In that bear market. Are you scared of me, man? Time for your mind tonight. I said it's not no okay. stuff that get your money right. I'm so cold with it. I know the cold really. You got some good money. Put some gold in it. Yeah. Reach deep, homie. You know the place. Uh, Don't change the channel. You're going to lose your place. I got that good, good. All that premium stock. I'm on YouTube making your money. Right. Yeah. Stop this. Go. Thank you. 